Hello, this is David Shaw, CEO of uh, WSC Group. We're certified practicing accountants who specialise in property investment, self-managed super funds and small and medium-sized businesses. So we're going to be talking about tax variations, which is one of our series on property and tax. It's amazing how many people I talk to uh, that actually don't know what a tax variation is. And um, the tax variation basically has been designed by the tax office, it's called a 1515, and it's simply a pro forma tax return which estimates your taxable income. That is what we do is we look at your uh, income, uh, less any uh, property deductions and other general deductions, and we put together a pro forma tax return, uh, not dissimilar to your own tax return in estimating your taxable income. There's a process from that, and the process is that uh, we prepare the uh, variation, uh, you sign that as a client, and then that's lodged with the tax office, and your payroll office actually obtains um, information from the tax office requesting that the amount of tax you have taken out of your pay actually uh, is reduced. So depending on uh, if you have one or more properties, uh, that percentage would vary, uh, also depending on what you earn. Now, a couple of things with tax variations, just some statistics to uh, get you really thinking about this, at about a 6% interest rate, uh, depending on your marginal tax rate for a four or 500 grand uh, typical investment property, uh, you'd be looking at somewhere, uh, your tax benefits will pay somewhere between 50 and 96% of the cost of the property. That varies a lot because lower income earners get less tax benefits. High income earners, in many cases, the tax benefits can pay for the whole cost of the property. There's a couple of interesting items that you should note. A tax variation uh, is completed after land settlement if you actually construct a property, so you don't have to wait until that constructed property obtains a client, uh, uh, sorry, a tenant. And also, uh, each time a new property is purchased or constructed, you can actually adjust your tax variation. One thing that we have to be really careful about is in relation to client bonuses and where you receive bonuses and commissions. Uh, in the case of bonuses, you should have these amounts taxed at normal rates and you specifically put this uh, in a section on the variation. And also with commissions, you should also review this variation mid year. A couple of other things, um, you can review the variation um, at any time. Uh, so if you have a change, in um, uh, pay, for example, the variation might be need to be reviewed. Uh, it's becoming more and more difficult, however, to cancel variations. So it's really important that once a variation is in place, if there's changes that need to be made, that will actually have to adjust the variation. So it's really important, like I always say to our clients, why do you want to lend them the government money for the year uh, interest free? Because if they actually owe you, if you owe them money, they'll charge you about between 12 and 14 um, percent. And the tax variation actually allows you to not receive the tax benefits of the property just at the end of the year, but actually receive them through the year. Whether you're weekly, fortnightly, or monthly pay, uh, the benefit will come in the form of reduced tax being taken out of your pay. Definitely uh, food, for, food for thought in this area. Oh, uh, also um, uh, important uh, for self-employed clients, uh, really, really important uh, that what we do, uh, we don't put in a variation uh, in the same way that we do for um, salary and wage uh, clients, but what we actually do is we'll estimate your taxable income uh, should be as, you be a trust or have your, your, your business in a trust or a sole trader or you're receiving wage from a company. So we'll look at your income. Then we'll look at the taxable loss on the properties, calculate your net taxable income, and then what the tax would have been on that, and then we'll actually reduce your quarterly instalment. So instead of getting the tax benefits on a weekly, fortnightly, or monthly time frame, you'll get that uh, in a reduced quarterly instalment uh, if you're self-employed. So not only can we uh, get the tax benefits of the property if you're a PAYG salary, you know, but also if you're self-employed.